let's see how cold it is. 54 degrees Fahrenheit. Still moving around. That's good. So what happened, guys, is last night I was on the phone with um, Samsung uh, regarding my Note 7 recall, and they pretty much screwed up my phone. Um, you know, the last update I did, which I knew I shouldn't have done it, pretty much <coughs> it... Um, is now limiting my battery life to 60%. The prompt, you know, pops up every 30, 40 seconds. Instructing me that I need to return my phone. Uh, I have to, okay, it's, so anyway, I was on the phone with Verizon, or not Verizon, but Samsung for about an hour last night and got really pissy with them because they're just not making this whole thing easy. I have to go without my phone for uh, almost uh, two weeks while I send this one back, wait for a refund or a replacement. And um, I'm just going to activate one of my older phones, but I was pretty irritated they weren't making this easy sorry about that going to change the lighting so um, so anyway I was on the phone with them yesterday and quite uh, quite irritated and um, I forgot to shut my garage so all night my garage was um, open which kind of freaked me out when I walked out this morning but one of the fortunately nothing was taken um, I just I'm usually pretty pretty paranoid about security, so that was not not my uh, not something I typically do. But um, kind of caught me off guard when I walked out of my garage this morning. Uh, lights were all on, door was open, but thankfully nothing was missing. But one of the byproducts of that is it gets cold here in the desert, and um, like, um, I didn't realize how well insulated my garage was because when I come out in the morning, it's usually you know very comfortable morning these uh these guys were about 55 degrees so they're moving a little bit slower what's really fascinating to me is my pogo numerics and i god i hope i didn't kill them because i've had a, very little luck with the pogos um so i was looking at them this morning let me switch over to my pogos and they are not moving now, they don't look dead i don't think because these when they're dead they're all curled up but they, they i don't know they are not moving. Looking inside the nest. Um, I don't know if this is diapause, but they are it, <laughs> very, very strange. Frozen in animation. Um, I don't know what to think. I see one guy moving. I mean, I'd, you know, they're moving slowly now. So I'm wondering if, if this is, you know, a uh, of a di diapause thing. You know, obviously for me it's the the queen that's really important. With the um, looking through the camera and zoom I can see a little bit more than I can with the naked eye. Yeah, there's some movement there so I would obviously go to work and shut the garage and hopefully for these guys yeah there's a little bit of movement there wow yeah so i just hit it with a no touch thermometer here and let me do another so that's 54.5 degrees fahrenheit in there let's move back over here we're looking at 54 degrees in the nest. These guys seem to be doing a little bit better than the pogos. I better put that lid back on because my luck, I'll forget that. And, um, okay, sorry. Pretty poor video quality here. But there's my. They're moving around, and that's my. And the queen's alive. Moving slow, but. Whew. Take a peek at some of my Novos. They look like they're doing okay. 
but I think these guys are just tough as nails when it comes to an ant species. They're, they are tough, but uh, they're definitely moving uh, moving slow as well. But anyway, guys, looks like I did dodge a, uh, a major bullet from the standpoint of I didn't get robbed last night. Uh, you know, I left my garage door open, lights on. And <laughs> uh, wow, I've never done that before. Um, and uh, my ants seem to be doing okay. So uh, I think I think all is right in the world. Thank you for watching. Good evening, guys. Um, I'm just going to splice this video into the one I took earlier, so it'll be kind of a seamless uh, seamless video, but. Uh, I haven't watched the video I took this morning, so I really can't speak to that, but, um, anyway, I, I left my garage door open last, last night, first time I've ever done that, and this colony, it looked like I might have lost the whole colony, thankfully that's not the case, queen's moving, ants are moving, you can see that in there, um, colony looks good, so, it got cold, got about, and it, it was abnormally cold here in Tucson, well, our climate's been weird last couple of couple months but it, it got abnormally cold last night it was about um um it was about 40 degrees on the way in 43 degrees and i'm trying to remember like i said i haven't watched for, for you guys watching this is going to be a quick seamless you know from that video to this and you know that i took that this morning about six in the morning and it's about six in the afternoon so 12 hours ago so it was driving in my car said it was about 43 degrees and i want to say it was about 50 degrees in my garage so it was cold uh, for us, and you know, we're we're here in the desert, so you know, we 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 deal with hundred plus degree temperatures. So forty and fifty is cold. <coughs> it does because we have very little cloud cover. Uh, the heat tends to escape at night, so it does get chilly here in the desert. But um, you know, not 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 that. Except for the the exception of a couple months a year, it doesn't get that cold here and where I'm at. But nonetheless, it got cold in the garage. You know, didn't have the insulation of the door. It got cold. Um, and throughout the year, it might get, you know, I've, 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 I've long considered creating a diapause um, scenario for my ants, getting a little mini miniature refrigerator and putting them in there so that they can, uh, you know, do their little uh, diapause, get their break over a couple months and me get a break as well. You know, I'm, right now I've got about 13 colonies, so it's, um, it's pretty um, labor intensive to keep these guys uh, chugging along. So anyway, <coughs> excuse me, um, wanted to come out here and look at them. I actually looked at them first thing when I got home. They all seem to be doing good, with the exception of two that were um, were um, out in the foraging area. I'm going to swap over that image here right now. These guys do, unfortunately, look like they have uh, passed, passed to the other side. So this was a guy that was, he was upright. Let's see if I can get the more stable here. Sorry, hold on. Okay, so this guy, he was actually standing up. It was like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, frozen animation? No. Anyway. Um, and uh, this guy to the, the right here. <coughs> um, let's see. Oh, he just, again, when ants, yeah, th this is, you know, what it looks like when the ant somewhat dies. It doesn't look... Yeah, it's shriveled up as they normally look, but um, this guy looks like he's standing up, so just kind of suspense, you know? Eh, I can't think of it, but... So I think I may have lost two ants because of that. Uh, the rest of the colony looks good, so there is that, but yeah, it's very strange. But again, like I said, I've been... Um, well, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me move to another colony while I chat with you guys. We have something else to look at besides this. Oh, real quick before I do that, I see a ant walking around out here. So where is he? There. So you know, they're they're at least alive. Okay, let's look at the honey pots. We all like looking at the honey pots. Yeah, I like looking at the honey pots. So anyway, so I've, I've long kind of debated on getting a little mini fridge out here during the the colder times of the year. You know, put them in the fridge. So I can kind of simulate the. Uh, uh, the temperatures they would experience in um, in the environment. Oh, today's a little um, unfortunate experiment. I don't know how that'll work. Um, so I'm not sure. You know, if guys, if you guys have some comments on 
well, this particular subject, I'm, I'm always open to learning and uh, getting your feedback. Uh, you know, this colony, of course, being that I only have one successful honeypot colony right now, I don't want to really, really mess with them on the same token. The queen does need to take a break and, you know, so kind of the, what my thought process is we'll leave them in the garage, see what kind of, what the temperature's like and they'll do what they do and I don't want to, every time I try to um, impose myself, you know, as far as adding, taking stuff away, aside from food, you know, messing with the temperatures, it seems to not, or try to moving, it seems like I don't have the, the, <coughs> excuse me, I don't have the desired results kind of thing and just let them be and they'll do what they do based on the temperature and so, anyway, well, I'm glad these guys are doing okay. Oh, and you just, you gotta love those repletes. And even the workers, he's, he's, he's just kind of a neat ant. But those repletes, I mean, guys, you can, you know, just looking at the size here, I mean, those, those, those buggers are big. Let's pan over, Let's see what's going on over here. And... Focus. And we'll go the other way. All right, well, looks like my battery is about to die, guys. Um, with this new update on my Note 7, it'll only allow me to charge it up to 60%, um, which sucks. So, waiting for a, my little special box to come in so I can <coughs> send my phone back and um, get something different. Have a great night, guys, and as always, thanks for watching.